Hey, in this short tutorial I'll show you how to create a restaurant directory website for free. I'm gonna use WordPress, the most popular website building platform, and HivePress, a free WordPress plugin that allows you to build any type of directory website. We'll also use the Listing Hive theme, since it's a free multi-purpose theme fully compatible with the HivePress plugin. You can follow the link in the description to learn more about HivePress and its themes, check its live demo or ask developers any pre-purchase questions. Ok, let's start with the theme installation and navigate to the WordPress dashboard first. Firstly, you need to install the Listing Hive theme by going to the Appearance Themes page and then clicking Add New. Now you need to find it with the search bar and install it. Finally click on the activate button. Once activated you'll get a suggestion to install the HivePress plugin. Proceed by clicking the recommended plugins link and then start the installation. Now simply click the return link and then proceed by activating HivePress. Ok, now we have the basic functionality. But let's add some extra features to the restaurant directory before moving on. Go to the HivePress extensions section. This is the list of available extensions that you can purchase or some of them you can install for free. For example, let's install messages, so users can send private messages. Favorites, to allow them to keep a list of favorite listings. Reviews so users can rate and review listings. And finally, geolocation, in order to allow users to search listings by location. Simply click on the Install button and activate the extension once it's installed. Then, follow the same steps for other extensions you want to install. In this video, I'll skip the installation of other extensions, since it's the same. However, if you want to enable Google Maps on your website, you need to set your Google Maps API key. To do this, go to the HivePress settings section, integrations, and paste the API key. If you have any trouble getting the Google Maps API key, please follow the link in the description to check our step-by-step -step tutorial. Now let's split the directory into categories to make it easier for users to browse restaurant listings. To add a new category, navigate to the Listings Categories section. First of all, you need to specify the name of the category. For example, let it be restaurants. In this field, you can split a category into subcategories. Fill in the description if necessary. And don't forget to upload the category image. When finished, click on the Add Category button. In the same way, you can add some more categories, for example, clubs and cafes. Once you are done with categories, it's time to add some fields specific to restaurant listings. You can add custom listing fields in the Listings Attributes section. For example, Let's add an average cost attribute so users can search restaurant listings according to their budget. Allow front editing and 
select the number type so users can set the price when adding a new listing. Then mark it as filterable and sortable. It's also better to select the number range field type so that users can set a price range. Finally, define how the attribute appears on the listing pages. Once you are done, click on the Publish button. In the same way, you can add more custom attributes, depending on your restaurant directory niche and requirements. Now, let's add a new listing. For example, let's add the first listing to the restaurant's category and name it Royal. However, let's do it from the front end to better understand how it works for users. To do this, go to your website first. Click on the Add Listing button and select a category. Now you need to upload the listing image Fill in the title, in our case it's Royal. Specify the location, average cost, and fill in the description. Once you are done, submit it. If the listing moderation is enabled, the listing must be approved by the admin before it appears on the front end. Let's approve it in the listings section. Select the listing and simply publish it. OK, now the finishing touch is to set up a front page for your restaurant directory. Since HivePress is integrated with the WordPress block editor, it's really easy to create and edit any layouts. To add a new page, go to the Pages section and click Add New. Firstly, fill in the page title. Now, let's add some layout blocks. For example, let's display a search bar. Simply click on the plus icon and select the block. Let's also add a block that displays categories and another one that displays recent listings. After we finish, publish it. Now navigate to the Settings Reading section and set this newly created page as the front page. Now, let's take a look at the home page and the new blocks there. That's it! As you can see, there are blocks of recent listings, categories and the search bar with an optional location search. But let's take a look at the listing category and try searching for a listing we added. As you can see, the listing is displayed along with the average cost attribute value. And we can search listings by the average cost range. That's how it works! So, if you decided to build a restaurant directory website using WordPress, keep in mind that you can easily create it with the Listing Hive theme and the HivePress plugin. They are both free, lightweight, and suitable for building any type of directory and listing websites. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or you can follow the link in the description to learn more about HivePress, its themes and extensions. Have a great day!